Welcome to the world of e-bikes. E-cars, everybody's talking about them in recent years, encouraging everyone to get an e-car so we can save the environment and eventually save the planet together. But there's not much talk about other cheaper electric means that most people can afford that can also contribute to reducing global warming. So today I'm bringing you this video to tell you about a very cheap alternative electric machine that most people can afford that will go a long way to help us reduce the effects of mankind's activities on the planet. I'm talking about electric bikes. So in some countries, a typical example is China. The use of electric bikes has been around for many, many years and it's the easiest and simple way for people to commute from place to place and it's a very cheap alternative to faster transport if you don't have the money for a car or a motorcycle so i'm just going to tell you a few reasons why you might also need an e-bike and why you might also want to consider getting one so without wasting much time let's go and take a look at my e-bike and and i'll tell you a few things that i use it for and how useful it is for me in my daily life stay tuned so that's my e-bike right there as you can see that's my helmet I always ride with a helmet on. This one I use for my e-bike and my other helmet for my motorcycle. Uh, as you can see, it's a half-face helmet for e-bikes. Yeah, you don't really need a full-face helmet because you're not moving as fast as a motorcycle. But we're here to talk about the e-bike. So this is how it works. E-bikes come with a battery. In my case, I have a 48 volt battery which is all starts in here so there are four different pieces of 12 volts batteries making uh, 48 volts and uh, the maximum travel of a fully charged battery set is about 30 to 40 kilometers and that is more than enough for just moving around and uh, going to the convenience store and going to places that are not too far away as you can see my bike is a bit beat up because I've owned it for quite a while. So you see rust here and there, but it still works. So this is how the e-bike works. So it's got the ignition, which is right here. You turn on the key and it shows you your indicator. Uh, let me bring you up close. Yes, let's see if this will focus. Yes, as you can see, I have 10% battery, 30%, 80%, and 100%. Right now I'm at 100%. And, um, I still get about, I'm assuming about 30 kilometers to go or even more before I run out of battery. So you can see your indicator as well. It depends on the type of e-bike you have. They have different, different um, dashes. Some are more fancy, more modern ones are digital, LCD screens and all that. So you will know how much range you have left. And I've also got a horn, pretty loud. And um, it also comes with a driver's seat right here so the driver sits here and um, I've also installed this one for for kids so if you have a little kid that you want to move around they can sit here comfortably it's it moves up and down left to right it's very flexible and they have their grab handle as well and then you have a rear passenger seat um, so basically you can carry three people ideally it's for one person but if you need, you can carry a kid or um, an adult at the back. So once again, that's the battery pack. So how do you charge it? You pull this out and then you connect. It's com it comes with a charger. You connect your charger to this and then to your power outlet. And it takes about eight to 10 hours to fully charge. And once you're done, you pull it out, you pull the charger out and then you replace this and that's it, you have power. And once you turn your key on, you accelerate, 
and off you go. It's got an accelerator and that's the front brake and this is the rear brake and you've got a horn like I already mentioned and let me show you what you see when you accelerate. So when I accelerate you will see the rear wheel turn and you can hear the motor kick in and then it just rolls and uh, takes you along no gas all electric and uh, it's very very useful around the community and it's got two tiny wheels now these wheels will do just fine for the purpose you're using it uh, you don't need big wheels or anything nothing fancy no abs nothing and let me just quickly show you the brakes and it uses a drum brake system as you can see right there that's for the rear and another drum brake system for the front and that's what you see right there um, the newer ones newer and more modern ones and better brands now come with disc brakes and all that but those are expensive and a bit fancy you don't really need it if you have the money yes you can go for it but you don't really need it now let me just explain a little bit of the science i don't know too much about the science but let me try to explain so what happens is you turn it on the power is activated from the battery and when you accelerate there is a cable i'm assuming it's right by wire so there's a cable that runs all the way to underneath the seat if you can see these cables right here there's some sort of a brain box under the seat i don't know if it can show it to you yes right there so the power comes in here and it's converted into the motor and you can see there are cables as well coming down from that box the brain box all the way down here all the way to the rear wheel so I'm assuming the coils are in the rear wheel because it's all covered and that's what turns it's kind of like an electric fan so once you turn it on the power comes through and then it turns the wheel so it's a very cheap easy alternative means of transport for moving around of course you're not going to go on a road trip on this thing but if you uh, just want a, a clean energy means of transport around your neighborhood and even maybe to commute to work because you might not be living too far away from work so this is something you might want to consider if you have never taken a look at it it's very very useful and i would say usually when i charge my battery i don't use it to commute to work but i just use it around the neighborhood to go to the convenience store and and things like that it usually lasts me about a week to two weeks uh, and and that is just after about eight hours of, of charging overnight so it's um, very very convenient and let me just show you if you have a power outlet uh, if you live in a an apartment block and you have a way to charge downstairs that's the best but if you don't it's not a problem because this is how you charge it you just lift up the seat and then you pull the power cable out and then you pull the whole battery unit out it's quite heavy but it's not something you can carry and then you can take it upstairs connect your charger and uh, uh, charge it overnight you wake up in the morning it's fully charged and then you just pick it up and push it back in it just sits it just sits in like so push your seat back and then you take your battery you take your cable and connect it back and you're good to go and once you turn on your ignition it's already on you accelerate and off you go so it's a very very convenient way of moving around and if you don't want to be driving your car all the time or you just want to you're just environmentally conscious and you want to save some money on gas and to reduce pollution this is a cheaper a very cheap and alternative source of transport and let me not forget to mention that you can also install a basket in front and that can handle a minimum amount of groceries uh, just around the block you don't have to go too far away but I'm just being modest but I think that on a full charge if you don't ride like a maniac you should be able to go close to 50 kilometers on this thing 
So if you have any questions about the electric bike, you can uh, put them in the comment section so I can answer you. But I hope I've been able to explain to you um, what the e-bike is and how it works and how convenient it is for uh, moving around and doing simple things around the neighborhood. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you learned something new from this video about electric bike world. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the notification bell so when I upload new videos, you'll be one of the first to see it. So thank you again for watching. Let's ride an e-bike today and save the planet. Till I see you in the next video, ride legal, ride safe.